Downstairs I go to my 15 gallon. My wife made a collection of stuff I have to throw out. She says, get rid of this stuff. It's uh, old TV and all kinds of stuff. I guess I'll try to give it the free on Craigslist or something. Anyway, I wanted to show you down here. There's my 15 gallon going pretty good. I uh, lost the guppy. I think one of them killed the guppy. He just wouldn't leave him alone. And I moved him into another tank and I put a different one in the same thing. So I lost one. I don't know. Fish can, uh, can get pretty nasty sometimes. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to show you my CO2. I know I showed you before. But I have the... Um, I finally got a needle valve. It's uh, uh, Reef Fanatics. Uh, Premium Aquatics is where I got it. It was $20. And it, it's, uh, it dials in perfectly. Whatever you want. And the Harbor Freight um, regulator is working perfect. Um, very steady. No problems. I have it on a timer. It comes on with the light and it works perfect. Uh, the bubble count stays constant. I got it uh, like a bubble a second, maybe a little faster. And uh, no problems at all. As a matter of fact, I bought another Harbor Freight regulator as a backup. And the same friend gave me another uh, solenoid just like that one. And that's terrific solenoid. So I'm set up for a, a spare. Because I have uh, the big tank upstairs. Um, uh, I, <clears throat> I have a whole setup that I bought together for that tank. But if something happens, I have a spare. I'll be afraid that and I sent away for Premium Aquatics for another needle valve. So I'll have a whole extra setup there of that. And uh, I'd recommend it to anybody. This uh, regulator works perfect. I think it's $30, $35. And um, I don't know what you would get with a solenoid. You'd have to shop around. But these, this one's made by Watts. And uh, yeah, they work perfectly. No problem at all, off and on. Made of brass. Very good, very well made. Alright, that's it.